Planet Zoo has been rated E10 plus by the ESRB for crude humor, mild blood, and mild violence. It is generally suitable for people aged 10 years and up. From the turreted castle and Main Street to Monte Cristo Island and Kukwana Land, Bartholomew Zenon's Zenon Land is protected by the Night Sheriff. Day and night, he is burdened by a witch's curse to be aware of all that live and play within the massive fantasy theme park. Now an attack on the park by a monster hunter who knows far too much threatens everything, guests, staff, and fellow supernaturals taking refuge in the park. The night sheriff must scramble to uncover not only the source of the threat, but secrets of the park of which even he was not aware. If he doesn't, he may be doomed. The park may be doomed. Even the world may be doomed. And that's a lot of doom. Get your copy at Amazon.com today. Hey kids, welcome back to the Sequoia Park Zoo. My name's Jack. If you've never been here before, welcome aboard. If you've been here before, welcome back. Either way, thanks for watching my content. Hope you enjoy what I'm about to do. The zoo is thriving. We've got lots of money coming in. Uh, the animals are doing very well. The zoo just looks great. I mean, look at this. This, this is a fantastic looking zoo, you gotta admit. Um, our alpine ibex uh, just had babies. Our raccoon just had babies. Um, however, we did have a death. Bly the striped skunk. Well, you know what? We're gonna get a new one. All right. Okay, we need a female. Yeah, all right. And we'll have her put into the habitat here along with the raccoons and the other striped skunks. All right. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to be putting in a habitat. Hold on a sec. What do we got? Speaker 49. Oh, ooh, that's not good. All right, hold on just a second. We need another striped skunk. Apparently both of them died on me. Okay. Anyway, what we're going to do here is we're going to be building a habitat for one of the most unlikely animals for this kind of zoo, despite the fact that the animal does fit the habitat. It absolutely fits the habitat. You can find these animals under the right circumstances in the, the Alpine uh, Pacific Northwest, you know, large wood forest territories as long as you're looking at the coastlines. And that is the California sea lion. And we're gonna put it in right here, so I'm just gonna start off with the barrier, as I always do. Now, you may notice that I've raised this land a little bit, that's on purpose. All right. All right, it's kind of a, an odd shape, but I'm bringing it around, you'll see. Okay, there we have it. Let's put a gate in, Let's say right there. But yeah, a lot of people don't think about the fact that you know, this, uh, the, the, I mean, you think about where the California sea lion is found in California. 
it's not found down, I mean, you can find it pretty much, you know, it, it's, it's more often found up near San Francisco and Altoona and Eureka than it is found down near uh, uh, Los Angeles and, um, you know, those areas, the warmer areas. And a lot of people just don't think about that. They don't think about the fact that, uh, you know, the, the animal in question is in the right, uh, uh, is in the right uh, climb, if you will, the, the right uh, uh, area to be in a, in a, a Northwest slash Canadian zoo. This, you know, nobody thinks about it. All right. And I know that we just put these down, but now I'm going to bring them back up. Because what I need to do, let me, it's getting, you know, there we go. And I'm going to do this so that I can tell where I want my border, because right now it's all big, you know, it's green. And, you know. Okay. So what I need, how many animals do I have here? We got three, two females and a male. Okay. So I need, let's see. For the California sea lion with three adults, I need 236 square meters of land and uh, 452 square meters of water and the water has to be 220 uh, square meters deep I suppose all right so what we're gonna do okay heights gonna be Let's call it eight. And we're gonna make it say 20 around. That way we can save some time doing the doing the do as it were. like a thunderstorm is about to hit. Oh, there's the rain. All right. I could probably get more, uh, it occurs to me, I could probably get more uh, 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 sea lions in this large of a heart of a habitat. I may just do that. about the I old age, you should probably see to that. Okay. That matter. How's he doing? He's doing all right, not yet elderly, so. Sorry about the interruption, but as I've constantly said, when you're playing uh, uh, when you're playing franchise, you actually have to play the game. All right.
Now, and there's my insulin, insulin alarm. Okay, now, let's put the, the glass in place. Okay. You know what? I need to uh, I need to fix something first. This area, the area that I'm excavating right now, is going to be where the path is that goes in front of the glass. Oh, come on, really? What's a guy got to do here?
Okay, that's not good. Trying to keep it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. It's not going to be at water level, but it is going to be close. Like that. Now that that's laid out, let's actually work on some things. I actually think that looks pretty good. Okay, let's work on the interior of this. Probably need to make this deeper. So let's try that. wall of tiger rocks uh, fits in. What I want to do is I want to basically line this this section underwater with those rocks. 
and like that. And I want to make sure they're underwater. You know, I, I don't necessarily want them um, want them above the surface. So, we'll do it like this. And this front area, I'm not sure. Do we have another? Do I have another? Let's see how this is going to work. Yeah, but you know what? We'll just bring a, bring a second one up like this. There. Okay. Now, I know I've got too much room in here. All right. Reputation, cool. Also adopt exhibit species, cool. 